Okay guys, so if you work with multi-cards, you probably realize that the formatting features are a bit limited, so it doesn't really allow you to format the way you want it. So I am going to show you how with a little bit of DAX, you can do these, transform these to these, right? So a lot more looking and it doesn't take a lot of work to do it. So let me show you. So the table that we're going to use is the customers table. And as you can see, it's just a bunch of columns that we want to format in the way that I showed you before. And you can try to do that with the matrix, but it's not going to let you format it the way you want it. You get more flexibility if you actually use the hacks. So there are two measures in here, one for the columns name and the other one for the actual values. And for the column name, this is what you need to do. It's actually very, very easy. You just write the name that you want on here. For example, this is says company name. So you write company name. And then you use unicor, unicor, unicor. I'm not sure what the actual pronunciation is. So that will do a tab. So it will force to the next line, right? And then you do um, country. And then Unichar. I mean, the DAX format, the intelligence, I just, just whacked at the moment. I don't know what's all going on. So you put it in there, you put it in a table, and it's actually going to give you columns with whatever names you specify. Now, as you can see, I have a line and I have a uh, emoji. The emoji I got from here. So if you go and search for that unicorn, code is like briefcase i think briefcase there you have it click on it and then you grab the numbers of the html code go back to power bi and here we're going to on our column name and before our company name we're going to put our unichar the number and then you concatenate it you probably want to leave a space so just do like you do in excel the space and concatenate nothing fancy there what did I, oh yeah company name has to have the double quotes okay so now we have the first part so how do you do the line so just the same thing just write a line and then concatenate it with unitor 10 which will then tab it right so there you go then we're going to do country i'm not going to show you everything obviously because you just repeat but uh, for the location, I use this one triangle, triangle flag on post. Uh, click on it, get the code back to Power BI, and you put it in here, right? You need char the number, and then you go to the next one. The next one is going to be uh, region. So you go region, you see that intelligence is really not doing it. Wow, uh, unitor 10. I know that it's working, so I know I can keep going, but if you're a new user. So now, as you can see, I have an indentation in region because I think it makes it easier to read. So how do you create that? You might think that you can just do spaces here. It doesn't work for a table. so different spaces you need to use different unicorn or unichar depending on what visualization you're using unfortunately for the table the space is actually called unitar or unicorn 127. how do i know that i google it <laughs> and then you're going to need three of these so uh, like that and you see that it, it indents, right? So now we have the first column. How do we create the second column? The second column is a new measure. And now what we want is the selected values for each one of those, right? So this is a column two. I think I already have one, so I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put, the first one is the company name. So this is selected value and then company name right? And then you're going to do unit car the same way as we did before. 
I already have it, right? Okay, I figure that much. So, and then you put it in there just to make sure that everything's working before you create too much. As you can see, it works beautifully. Now, on the second one, I don't want the line. You can actually continue putting the line if you want. That's fine. I don't want it. Unicorn 10. And then for the next line, you do selected value. You can actually copy the fastest way is to copy this one. And then just change the company name by country because it comes from the same table. It allows you to write DAX a lot faster. So here, for example, region. And so on and so forth. So country. There is no region actually for this uh, particular customer. That's why it's empty. Uh, but then you continue doing it for all the columns that you want. And that is the way you create beautiful multicords in Power BI. So I will see you again next week. Uh, sorry, there hasn't been any videos this week, but I've been having quite a lot. You know, uh, with everything that's going on, I just uh, had difficulties to, to, to do a video. But um, I think education is actually important, so it's worth doing it. So I will see you again on um, next week on Tuesday. And until then, take care.